Earlier this week, we were treated with the most detailed image of our sun. The astronomers said the image is the most impressive that's ever been taken of the giant star, and this was thanks to the solar telescope in Hawaii. Those who've seen it have described it as looking like melting gold, or popcorn. The Daniel K Solar Telescope released these incredible images of the surface of the sun, and have said the cell-like structures that can be seen are actually massive saying that each one is around the size of Texas, giving them a length of around 268,500 square miles. Impressive when you think the sun is around 1.3 million kilometers, or 865,000 miles. For years, researchers have managed to capture some incredible photographs of the sun and document its many phenomena, but researchers are saying this is by far the most impressive that's ever been taken. One of the scientists working at the observatory, Thomas Remmel, said the following. It's extremely exciting to be a solar physicist at this point in time, especially with all these missions. With just the first images, you see details that we've never seen before, and this is really just the beginning. The researchers have said they've peaked with these photographs, but say that many more missions will be coming up in the near future and that they hope by getting this close to the sun it will help us to better understand certain characteristics. The researchers ended by saying that they are currently in the golden age of solar studies. Over the years, researchers have been able to learn a lot about the sun, and this has helped us to better understand how it was formed, and the power that this massive star holds. Our sun is a giant star that can be found at the heart of our solar system, if we didn't have the sun's massive amount of energy, there would be no life on our planet. Scientists have figured out the sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the sun. The outside of the sun is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's nothing compared to the core, which can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. NASA have said that to match the energy the sun produces, you'd have to set off 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. Solar storms in the Earth's upper atmosphere are triggered by massive amounts of energy from the sun. If one of these storms is particularly powerful, it will take out entire power networks across our planet. What's worrying about this is researchers have said we're not ready for an event like this, and that it could cause chaos across the entire planet. Experts estimate if a large enough solar event was to strike our planet, it would cause over 2.3 trillion pounds or 3 trillion dollars worth in damage. The micronation of Asgardia has come forward and said the following. They pose a serious threat to Earth, even without the technological infrastructure of the modern age. The growth of highly sensitive and space-dependent electronic grids Signals and networks makes the task of defending the planet from the unpredictable effects of the sun more urgent than ever. Asgardia is committed as a community of citizens of more than 200 countries to invest in public and scientific affairs, to researching and preparing appropriate defense mechanisms to tackle superstorms, and caring equally about all humanity as well as its citizens. Asgardia, or the Space Kingdom of Asgardia, intend to build free settlements in outer space. However, they have warned us about these outside attacks. Going back, scientists announced that a massive solar storm hit our planet. It's thought this occurred around 2,500 to 2,700 years ago, and it's believed to have been 10 times stronger than any solar storm we've recorded in the modern age. According to researchers, these solar storms did used to happen quite often, in fact, it's only due to our magnetosphere that we are kept safe. This protects all life on Earth from most of the particles the sun emits. Going back thousands of years ago when this massive solar storm hit our planet, it would have caused radiation issues. Researchers have said it's important we monitor our sun and try to adapt to counter these types of storms. This isn't the only interesting discovery that's been made in regards to space. 
out in the vastness of space there are a number of incredible and impossible to believe signs. What's incredible is that most of these were theorized before their sightings, but now thanks to science we can definitely say they exist. One of these comes in the form of black holes. Recently, scientists noticed that the black hole that's located in the center of the Milky Way started to pulsate and give off massive amounts of light. As you can imagine, both scientists and researchers couldn't believe what they were seeing. This black hole has been described as being rather calm, but these massive fluctuations have caught the attention of scientists. One scientist said this is the brightest they've ever seen this black hole, further saying that it's around 75 times brighter than before. The increase in brightness was picked up on in May, and the researchers have said they're now looking at what caused it to do this. At the moment, the team behind the study is collecting more data, saying that various telescopes across the globe could have picked up on these changes, and this could help us to better understand why this black hole started to increase in brightness. As mentioned, this black hole is located at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, and it has a gravitational force so large that researchers believe it to be the force holding and moving the entire galaxy together. Another thing they've said is that in billions of years, this black hole will most likely swallow all of the energy within our galaxy, and this will happen within the next billion years or so. Though the celestial body itself is impossible to see given all of the mass energy at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, it's a commonly held theory that the majority of research scientists believe that the only forces capable of maintaining the entire force of the galaxy must be that of a supermassive black hole residing at the center. The original estimates place this supermassive black hole, referred to as Sagittarius A for residing at the Sagittarius constellation, as being no more than 4 million times the mass of our sun, rather small when compared to other supermassive black holes. However, when measurements and estimates were taken again, researchers realized there was not just one of these supermassive black holes, but dozens of these large celestial bodies in orbit and moving around each other. When researchers attempted to take clearer images, it was soon revealed there was more than a thousand of these large supermassive black holes at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, some rivaling in size some of the largest celestial bodies ever witnessed before. Interestingly, scientists have recently come forward and said that our universe may be nothing more than a silver sitting within the edge of a bubble, that's constantly expanding into a higher dimension. Scientists have said that the human brain cannot fully understand the full scale of the universe, and perhaps never will. The universe extends over many tens of billions of light years, and many people can't wrap their head around this. Understanding the structure of the Milky Way has long been challenging. The solar system sits on the outer edges of one arm in a disk of material, and no one can see across the dense center to the other side. The Milky Way does not sit still, but it's constantly rotating. The solar system is always moving through space, meaning the sun and the solar system travel with them. The solar system travels at an average speed of 515,000 miles per hour. Even at this incredible speed, the solar system would take around 230 million years to travel all the way around the Milky Way. Bear in mind this is how long it would take to travel just one galaxy. In the observable universe there is estimated to contain 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies. This gives you an idea to how monumentally vast the universe is. One startling revelation made by quantum physicists that has converted even the most optimistic individuals is that of the concept of the multiverse theory. When pondering the mathematical implications and probability of a universe forming, as well as other theories in regard to dimensional mathematics, physicists began positing a thought experiment forward. Why did our universe form with these specific rules, with these specific numbers and laws of mathematics? Scientists believe that the odds of this occurring are so astronomical that it's far more probable that every variation of every possible universe exists to allow such occurrences. What's even more interesting is that researchers believe they have evidence of the multiverse theory occurring in the natural world, given the complete determination of quantum mechanics, 
and its properties such as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and the formation of virtual particles. This could very well mean that every possible variation of every universe and every decision ever made could more than exist and could potentially one day be explored. So my question to you guys is what do you make of these incredible images of the sun? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.